everyone, what's up? My name is Joss and welcome back to my channel, Squoobles Reads. Today, what we are going to be doing is the second go around of the Try a Chapter Tag. Basically what this tag entails is that you pick several books off of your shelf or from the library that you've been wanting to read for a while and then you read the first chapter of each so to kind of get a little taste of it and then at the end of the video I will come back and let you guys know which of the books that I have decided to continue on with. I did this tag a few months ago and it was super helpful because at that time I didn't really know what I wanted to pick up next and I'm kind of in the same place right now. I have a ton of options on my shelves and that I've borrowed from the library so today I have picked five books that I have read the first chapter of and I'll let you guys know what I think of all of them and then at the end of the video I will let you know which one I am going to keep reading. So the first book that I chose to attempt is The Trees by Ali Shaw. This book has a beautiful cover and one night a whole bunch of trees just start growing up from the ground in this neighborhood. It starts wrapping around poles and growing over buildings. So this guy, Adrian Thomas, he is just trying to have a quiet, peaceful night of takeout and Western movies, which is kind of like his tradition when his wife, Michelle, is out of town. Then he falls asleep after eating all of this delicious food and wakes up to find all of these trees that have grown in his neighborhood. And that is where the first chapter ends. The blurb goes on to say that he meets a woman named Hannah who believes that the trees are some kind of sign of renewal rather than a sign of destruction. He also meets Hannah's son and together all they want to do is to find Hannah's brother who is a forester and they also want to find Michelle who is again Adrian's wife who seems to have gone missing. The first chapter was only a few pages long. It was kind of like somber and self-loathing and really a lot of strange references to like insects that are just crawling on the ground and like the wet soggy weather neither of which I really liked but I did actually really like the chapter. It was kind of like the prologue to a fairy tale it had kind of like a distant narrator feel to it and that really emphasized all of like the magical realism elements so this is definitely a contender that I may want to continue with. The second book that I tried is Before the Fall by Noah Hawley. This is about 11 people who get on a plane from Martha's Vineyard and they are traveling to New York Something happens and the plane crashes and there are unfortunately only two survivors. One of them is a painter named Scott who is significantly less wealthy than the other people who were on board. Also there is a four-year-old boy that survives that is the son of one of these wealthy and affluent couples. It is supposed to go through like the mystery of the crash and all of like the media coverage that surrounds it and some of the conspiracy theories that are going through the community. The first chapter very briefly explained a lot of the characters backstories and also what they were doing when they first got on the plane. In comparison to the trees the writing was more straightforward forward and the rhythm didn't seem to change a lot. So for example, let me just like read a brief passage to kind of illustrate what I am talking about. So this passage says, everyone has their path, the choices they've made, how any two people end up in the same place at the same time is a mystery. You get on an elevator with a dozen strangers, you ride a bus, wait in line for the bathroom. It happens every day. So just in like the way that it's written, you can kind of tell that the rhythm of the sentences is very similar and this continues throughout the chapter. I think that's all right for what the author is intending to do. There are a lot of characters, so it lays the groundwork in a really easily accessible way. But in terms of like my own preference, I definitely prefer the more like melodic, ominous type of tone that The Trees does with its magical realism stuff. So I think I would prefer to read The Trees right now over Before the Fall. Okay, the third book in my pile is Boy Snowbird by Helen Oyeyemi. This has been on my shelf for quite a while and it is kind of like a retelling of Snow White. So we are in the year 1953 and we are following a woman whose name is Boy and she has suffered a pretty traumatic past. So she jumps on a bus and goes to a little town in Massachusetts where hopefully no one will know her so she can start fresh. Her whole like bus ride and journey that is what kind of constitutes the first chapter as well as a little bit of why her past was so traumatic. The blurb goes on to say that she marries a man and she becomes his daughter's stepmother and her stepdaughter's name is Snow and together she and this man have another kid and that kid's name is Bird. So all together we have three females named Boy, Snow, and Bird. From the first chapter I think the best words that I can use to describe it are like offbeat and kind of quirky and whimsical but also kind of dark underneath. This is all due to the writing style because just looking at the events in the first chapter I think they are pretty ordinary but they really do come to life with the storytelling so definitely another contender. Up 
next we have My Name is Leon by Kit DeWall and this has been getting a lot of attention on booktube lately so when I saw it at the library I definitely had to pick it up. This is about nine-year-old Leon and his younger baby brother Jake. They fall under the care of the state when their mother has fallen under some hard times and can no longer take care of them and neither of their fathers is in the picture. Leon is darker skinned and Jake is lighter skinned because I believe Leon's father is African American and Jake's father is Caucasian. But I bring this up because it's important in the grand scheme of things because there is some talk about how Jake was adopted whereas Leon was put in foster care. So there is some talk about socioeconomic status and race in this book so I was really intrigued going into it. What I didn't expect from the first chapter was that it is written in third person but we get a lot of Leon's kind of like inner monologue so it's written kind of like a nine-year-old was saying it to you. I think this will really really add to the narration moving forward in the book. It is really different from the trees and from boy snowbirds so at this point I did not know which book I was gonna pick. I still don't know which book I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna decide at the end when I have let you guys know about all of them. The last book that I picked was The Shining Girls by Lauren Bucus, which is also another book that I had on my shelf and I just have not picked it up. From what I know from the blurb, this is about a time traveling serial killer and also about one of the girls that he failed to kill and this girl is trying to uncover the mystery of all of it. So the first chapter goes through one of their very first interactions and just like the trees, there were a lot of references to insects. So this video is a lot of me reading about insects. It was a really like short little chapter so I didn't get a lot of like the flavor of the book but it did set the tension really well. I am just kind of curious about how the concept of this is going to be executed going forward in the book. Reading the first chapter didn't really take away or add to my curiosity so still on the fence about this one. Here are all the books that I borrowed. Um, I think I don't want to read before the fall. I think I'm between The Trees, Boy Snowbird, and The Shining Girls, but I am in the middle of a few more mysteries. So I think I'm going to pick, uh, okay, I think I'm gonna pick Boy Snowbird by Helen Oyemi, and I'm gonna put the rest of these down. This is the final answer. I'm going to continue reading Boy Snowbird by Helen Oyemi. Hopefully I'll be able to finish it by the end of October. I still have like 10-ish more days to finish it, so maybe you'll see it in my October wrap-up. That is it for this video. If you guys have read any of these books, please do let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!